Ah, Mr. Sagnus. How am I order doing for his lordship? William, I was going to come and see you. You know me, I am very reliable, but it's been a bit different these last few days. Five days ago, I had somebody coming through from the king saying they needed as much small ale as I could provide for the king's army that were coming down here to stop some rebels, some foreign rebels, and, uh, you know, they needed my small ale for as much as I could give them anyway. I gave them up to 100 gallons. Well, I... I could do it. I could deliver, thank goodness, because it was the king asking. You don't want to say no to the king, do you? You don't know what's going to happen if you say no to the king. No, I could do it. Um, problem is, I had to take your brew off early in order to get the small ale, earlier than I would have liked. Now, I reasoned, once it had that, taken it, I could look at what I'd got, and I was expecting it to be a good brew. I'd had it going a long time, very nice. But I'd be keeping it a bit longer than I would have liked. 21st, I took it off. I was needing to keep it for the 24th for your feast of St Bartholomew. I'm thinking three days, more than I normally would have done. You know me, I had two days maximum. But three days, I'm thinking it should still be all right. And what I could do, and what I'd planned to do, is come up and see you and tell you that I'd got your strong ale, but it was going to be a day over. Not that I would think it would give you the belly ache or anything, but... You never know at what point it's going to turn sour, so I was going to give you the choice. I was quite prepared to either take care of you or be out of pocket. Speaking of which, I am out of pocket now, aren't I? Because that first lot that I gave to the king's men, well, the king's men and that king, that Richard, he's dead now. So I don't know how I'm going to get paid, and I was going to talk to you about that as well, because... I know old Sir William would have taken care of me because, you know, I've been supplying him, me and my husband, we've supplied the household for years, but this young Robert, I've not had much dealings with him now since his father died, so I was going to have a word with you, see what you thought about me taking my particular case to the Manor Court because I am out of pocket. You know, I've paid, the, I've paid for all the ingredients and I've got nothing to show for it. Uh, I had no reason to think that they were going to lose because they were very confident and they'd sorted out rebels before. I mean, what do I know about anything? Then, of course, this is the next bit that I was just going to tell you about as well. This strong, lovely stuff that I've got for you. Well, the new King's Army came through, celebrating, in need of some party fluids, and uh, had all the strong stuff. I mean, in some ways, I have to confess, it was good for me because I uh, clawed a bit of the money back. They were quite prepared to pay good coinage for it, but on the other hand, it's left me with nothing for you. I can't get ingredients for anywhere. I've not got time to brew it, not without giving you stuff that'll give you bellyache and wind and bile, and I wouldn't do that to you because, as you know, I like to take care of you. Oh, blimey. I mean, they did imbibe some as well. They'd be troubling Leicester last night, I'll tell you. Did you see him? Did you see him coming? I saw there were lots of them coming back. It took about an hour for him to trudge through. I think it took him longer to pass through here than it did to actually do the battle. I think that only lost, lasted, I don't know, an hour or two hours. Some of the uh, youngers have been up, up and being ill, just having a little look round, see what they can get. Got a few coins and some boots. But they said there's some bodies there, about a thousand or more. Mind you, there were thousands and thousands of them, so I don't know what the rest of them have done. Probably run off, I would, wouldn't you? Everyone's hanging around. I don't think many people want to fight anyway. I mean, I know my husband never wanted to, really, but you have to go where you're told to go, don't you? And you know, I lost him in the French War. Lost a cousin at Towton as well, and a few others from Peckleton not lost at to Towton. My cousin was an archer. Always strapping lad. Got picked out early on, did a lot of good training for that as well, and then, they yeah, are gone. Gone in that big, long battle they had at Towton. Lost a few from there, did they? I don't think anybody went from Peckleton this time, did they? It was quite, quite fortunate, really. I don't think there was any that were of fighting age. Fortunately, I, uh, I just have my daughters, as you know. Anyway, that's the situation I am in. I don't know what you want me to do about it or expect me to do about it. I went over Cope and Mallory last night, trying to get some more ingredients there, cleared out as well. There's no bread anywhere. I mean, obviously, I've got some because... You know, I take care of the butcher and the baker, and uh, they take care of me. We've got a little arrangement. But after the butcher, the baker, and myself, you were fourth on the list, which is like being first on the list, because obviously I've got to sup ale as well. I've only got this to last me till I brew the next lot, and that's not going to go very far, is it? 
So I can't help you. I would if I could, but I can't. I don't know what to tell you. Have you not got some of your own up at the house? I mean, surely you kept some back for yourself. You've got to take care of your own household first. Did you keep some back? I mean, if you didn't, it's your own fault. You know, I've, but then, like I said, how do you say no to the king? You might end up in the tower like them two boys, you know, never to be seen again. Oh, they did say that he, uh, he went down fighting, that King Richard. Apparently, they were full of it, you know, all, the, all this new King Henry's men. They're foreign. Did you know that? I, I mean, he must be a bit English, mustn't he? But he's lived in France, and before that, he was from Wales. So there are all these Welsh soldiers and French soldiers. Hey, do you know what they call this? Pan, like a pan. It is. Anyway, they, uh, they were full of it. They said what happened was, I think they were as surprised as anybody that they'd would. What happened was... King Richard and his men had been on Ambien Hill and they'd charged at, at this Henry, King Henry now, they charged at him, uh, killed the standard bearer. Did you see that lovely flag, the dragon? I've been thinking, actually, I'm going to make a brew, put some bog myrtle in it and call it Red Dragon Brew. I thought that was, I, I thought that was nice. I did. Anyway, so he charged him and uh, killed the man with the flag. And then he's also got stuck in the mire, in the mud, and he'd come off, lost his helmet, and these Welsh soldiers, reckon they'd, or one of theirs, had done him in, blows to the head, you see, and then, you see, I saw him on the way back. Didn't see him on the way down, I was that busy getting my barrels filled and uh, chucked on the carts, but I saw him on the way back, he was like trussed up like an animal on the back of a horse, and his head was bashed in, he was a mess. Take him to Leicester, I would think. I don't know, what would they do with him? Would they just like take him to church? And I, I suppose everybody's got to see that he's dead, haven't they? So that they know there's this new king. Not that it makes any difference to most of us because one king's much the same as another as far as I can see. As long as I don't put my taxes up and interfere with my business, I can just get on with it. Do you know what they did say though? And I thought this was quite interesting because you don't always know, do you, all this stuff that's going on. That when King Richard had charged them, he'd been expecting backup from some big Lord Stanley, I think they said. Anyway, he hadn't backed him up. He'd attacked him as well, and that's what did it. So, of course, we had some of those men in here as well, and, uh, you know, as far as they were concerned, they, they were the reason that they'd won the war. <sighs> Do you know, some of them had brought their wives and the kids over there, I mean, there were the French ones, and I think that must be quite hard to be in a camp near the battlefield. And I think for them, it's probably quite good to be on the winning side when you're doing a job for money, because then you know you're going to get paid. I wonder what happens if you're on the side that don't get paid. I mean, that's if you live. Still, what I do know is they all want to drink, because if you're not dead, you're either defeated, or you're celebrating, and you need ale, whichever way it's fallen, don't you? So I'm all out, and I don't know what to tell you.